Hello, my Naya laters. That's what I'm gonna call you guys. Cause my name is Naya Robinson. That is, and you guys are my Naya laters. I'm just, I'm just gonna do a video on a Valentine's Day look, a simple glam one. Maybe I'll do another one with like, um, like extra glam and lashes and stuff. But for now, simple glam for the girlies who ain't trying to do all that, you know. So I'm gonna be using. Jeffree Star Morphe palette today. Maybe a little bit of Huda Beauty. Um, yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> For my foundation, we will be using the one of my favorites, the Milani Conceal Imperfect. I like to put everything on the back of my hand, cause sorry I can't stop saying words sometimes. I'm gonna put everything on the back of my hand and um artist it, you know. I'm an artist at heart. So what I'm gonna do is use this brush to like spread it everywhere, you know? So cause that uh beauty blender, whatever the fuck the one I have, the Juno and Co sponge is crazy. You gotta make sure you're not putting too much product on. It don't suck up shit. <laughs> okay. So this is my Juno sponge. It's like velvet. It's so fun. Let me get closer to you guys. I don't mind being up close. I'm not at home alone, so. See what I'm saying? Shit's full coverage. I got some little baggies because it's really early in the morning and I woke up and thought about this and I was like, fuck it, let's do it again. I made one video, but Willie really wasn't that pleased with it. But I know I'm like, I should just get something out. But you're out of my foundation. What? I don't even use it that much. I'm not out, there's hella in here still. It's just thick. It's not like, easy to shake up. And then what I like to do is go back in with the sponge and just get everywhere you need to get. I will get a camera soon. I just really suck right now. You know how much that shit costs. You know. So don't be, but don't be roasting by no quality. Nobody's roasting me anyways because <laughs> who's subscribing? I ain't got a subscriber. I'm just doing this for fun for right now, you know. It's just fun. I just moved. I need something to do. Moved to ATL just like a few days ago, like four days ago. Five. Five days ago. Yeah, it was five. So that's fun. <laughs> Sorry. It's not amazing yet. There's more. Let's just see where life takes us. Oh yeah, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Please. It would be cool. Those people like, actually watched me. Me. <laughs> so. Oh, I like it back here better. Mm -hmm. Especially while I'm blending my foundation, you know. Can get the full picture. And I like to get any, like, because this is like a concealer, too. I like to get any scars. Because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my face. And make sure you get around that mouth. Because you know when you get them pictures and that mouth be looking, you know? No, for me especially because I'm black. And it could turn gray. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Concealer. Isn't it beautiful? Shout out to him. It's literally so much comes out. Get rid of them bags. I don't really need that much concealer. Like, it's just bags. It's not really like color that I have to fucking get rid of. I don't really care if you see my bags because it's human. I'm not really trying to go for a flawless look. I go for a, my. Where I'm trying to get my beauty from. My version of beauty. I guess it's my version of beauty. 
do. So, let's do that. And also love to go in with a, another foundation. And this is the like Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. So, I pour it in the back of my hand. I don't care if anything mixes it together, especially my bases, because it's my base. But you can't be having it like one specific color, anyways. If you're an artist, you'll understand that you have to mix things together and make like different skin tones. You know, everybody know that. I feel like everybody knows. So, let me see. Can you see? Nothing intense. It's just for my um powder to like stick on to to be real but i like to hurry up and get this on because it can um dry fast because obviously it's matte and poreless i would like to do this first I like to blend that out first and get going and i even like to go right here in my jawline even though i have like one of the strongest jawlines in woman history i like to go in on there because fucking why not why the fuck not? Nose can be done later, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. I like to go in like as I'm painting, you know what I mean? Like if you're painting, you could just go back in and, you know, tweak that shit. I like, you know who Harouche is? Harouche, the makeup artist, she does like Kylie Jenner and them. Everyone, maybe. I don't know. She's popular for Kylie Jenner. And like that group of people. And she has a YouTube channel. People should check her out. She is a very unique way. And Scott Barnes. Oh, orgasm when I watch him do makeup. Because it's just so beautiful and I understand it. Artists should start doing makeup. You know we have hella makeup artists in the game already. But not everybody has those hands that some people have you know it's a certain type of thing you gotta understand them hands some people have hands of gods I'm not saying I don't cuz I, do, I feel like I do one day I hope to be able to do makeup for other people cuz I love to make people feel beautiful and access their beauty the beauty that they love maybe it's similar to my style of beauty you know I'm beating my face, like, literally, like, I don't care, like, I'm beating that shit in. Just not under the eyes. Don't be doing that. <laughs> so I just like to get a little, a basic contour going. I don't really go crazy with it. Now, build out the highlight. I love this concealer because, like, look at that. That wasn't shit. Like, how I just fucking, like, blended that out. Oh, wow. I haven't really used it that much. I haven't been going out since I bought it. Ooh. Laurel. Obsessed. Obsessed. Ob. Obsessed. I support men in makeup too, if people want to know that. But I'm pretty sure no one cares. Just yet. Okay. So we're just getting the outsides. Going back in and blending. Never blending too much, because I don't really care. With this sponge, you can just blend, you know? Wow, my nose looks so good. Especially, like, in the mirror. On camera, it's, like, it's different, but it's okay. Okay, to make sure I'm getting everywhere. Okay. 
Okay, it's taking me too long for my base, so moving on. What I'm gonna do is set everything. And what I use is this black radiance powder, actually, and it's fucking amazing. And then set. setting by the way these are morphe, morphe brushes but I don't know what they're called they don't have numbers on them so I could have looked it up but too late I was thinking of that honestly one day I will get better but right now I don't really care about doing like too much production I'm really into the old YouTube style like Anyways, yeah, I love when people just like took random little videos <laughs> and it wasn't like the craziest thing. It was just done because they felt like it. Now it seems like nobody feels like it anymore. Like they all hate it low key. I see why though a little bit because the girls like Jacqueline Hill, my bitch, I love her. I don't see people, don't see people do that stuff to her. I'm so mean to her. But, um. I think she's pretty cool and amazing and people are constantly bashing her crazy as shit no but like I'm like what come at me I don't care but don't come at Jacqueline period <laughs> but um you also just like the middle of my face Make sure it's in there. Even though my bags are way, way crazier than I thought. They're cool. Huh? And then, next, I'm going to set my contour. And I always use this brush for that. But, today, I'm going to do that with this. It has a little blush on it, which is perfect for me because I like to mix things up. I, like, I don't like to have it like separate, you know. Definitely color placement is a thing, but you know. More soft. And it has a little bit of pink on it already from my last application of makeup. So... Um, that's beautiful. And I'm going to use the same brush. Go in under here. You know what I mean? And then just get that together. And now blush what I like to do for blush is just use like my palette my Jeffree Star palette I use this like orangey color right here it's called wand noise right here okay it looks good on me so don't judge this brush more for you also I like to do a little bit of blush when I'm starting, you know? And then, maybe like after my eyeshadow, I'll do like something crazy with it. It's thunderstorming outside and raining and shit, so if you hear that, oops, you'll be okay. I truly believe you'll be okay. So. We're gonna get started on the eye look. The best part, of course, right? So what I'm gonna start with is this color My. It's like a very light pink, pale pink. 
so I just want to use that to like you know I know that was still on there though okay I see why I couldn't see okay okay I love that color on me. It just, yeah. She's on there. And then I just like to get a little even application of it and then go over with this little Morphe brush. It's usually like a highlighter brush, but I can do whatever I want. I do what I want. <laughs> so, the next, because I really don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going to go with the flow. Next, we're going to. I'm kind of going to do something like soft glammy, you know. That's what the, the trend is right now anyways. I need a blending brush. But fuck it. Oh, found one. It fell. So what I'm going to do is go in with my Huda now. Beautiful. I love these types of colors. If you know Jackie, I know she stays using these colors. And you want to know why? Because we look like this. That's why. So. I'm going to start dark light dark light i'm gonna go all over the place so i'm gonna start with this cranberry kind of color this one right here and start right here i like to give it to i'm an attention to detail person you know so that's how my looks are it's, it's not really about like the most coverage i can make it look like a lot of coverage but then i you know i won't have a lot of coverage and that's what I like. Cause there's ways to trick the eye. It's gonna be kind of a cutty crease because this is the direction I'm going in. So, and I'm doing this kind of eye look because I don't want to use lashes, and I feel like some eye looks really amplify your lashes, and this is one. Of them. So that's cool. That's on there. I'm gonna do the other eye. You see what I'm doing there? We're making like a shape. We're cutting out a shape. <laughs> Cause you don't have to use concealer to cut a cut grease or cut make a shape unless you want it to be. It's actually not that much quicker. It's just less work. If that makes sense. And then after that, what I want to do is go with a blending brush, blend love blend I have a trip coming up soon in March spring and I'm so excited I'm going to Mexico with friends I used to live in Arizona so it, it used to be really easy to get there but now I'm in ATL I'm everywhere though don't don't think I'm in one place I'm everywhere somehow I do it because we got to do what we got to do in this life See that? And what I'm gonna do is go back in with that pink. See, so you go back and forth and just do it, it is just way easier. And go in with that pink. Do what you gotta do with it, and then boom. And that shade is called My. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the rain, but I hope it's relaxing in a way. And then I'm gonna go back with the cranberry color. There's two colors right now. There's two. And make some definition, you know? Like, try not to make it... You know you only got two colors right now, so don't make it basic if you only got two colors. So you can make this shit work. I used to do my makeup in high school. And middle school was, like, nothing. I made it look like something, even though it was trash, because I didn't know what I was doing. But I still made shit work. Because that's what you do. 
you know? And then go. The lights went off. No! Okay, I told y'all it was raining, so. The lights went out. They said, I was like, but yeah. Moving on. We're going to blend as good as we can. Just a little back and forth wind slap promotions for me right here. That's good. All right, then I like to go on the bottom lash. Mmm, y'all do pink today. I usually try to keep my um, bottom lash dark and like sultry, you know? But today we're gonna just, yeah, we are. We're gonna make it dark, but different. I'm gonna go with the same dark color that was at the top. This is a really easy look. And I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just, well, anyone who's an artist and doing whatever they want to do is an artist, whatever. So maybe I am a makeup artist. I should be. Yeah. And then if you get any fallout, just knock that sucker off. And I like to connect that right there because it creates more, it does more than you know literally changes the look around look see that changes the whole look oops bruh if these lights come off again i'm wondering if i should just go full on with the eyeliner like all the way yep we ain't basic okay so we went all the way in with it which i love I love a crazy, like, 70s eye, but, like, not, like, the typical 70s, you know? Okay, so we're going to do that. Anyone with their makeup done, hit me up. That'd be really cool to do. If anybody sees this. I'm going to go all the way into the inner corner. Don't be scared. See what I'm talking about? What that look like. And now. Hmm. Do I want sparkle or do I just keep it matte? I don't know yet. So we're not. Right now we're going to just deepen. Deepen our eye. Using the same brush. I'm going in with the Jeffree Star palette. I'm going with this color called Calabasas. It's like a brownish, like plumish, like everything-ish color. So. So, right here on the the lash line. Okay. I'm really feeling this. I don't know if y'all could tell. But I really am. It's very detailed. Not many people want to do this, but some people can do it faster than me. I just like to do it like this because it really shows when you take your time okay and I'm gonna even use like a dark like an actual dark brown to just and get this right here picked up it's a dark brown and pick that damn eye up I love a feline eye. Okay. And blend. I should really be doing makeup. What am I doing in my life? Um, 
thank you do i want an inner corner highlight okay seriously pissed about my eyeliner because i can't find it but okay we'll start on the eyebrows maybe come back to the eyes see i like to go back and forth on the eyes and stuff because if you go back and forth on the eyes you get a balance of what you really want and if you want your eyes to be heavier or, or your eyebrows to be heavier I know they're thick. I don't really get them done because I'd rather them be thick. If models can do it, I can. And this is like the billion dollar brows pencil. This used to be a, like a big thing, remember that? I don't really get them done. But this is just enough. getting there I don't usually like do like the whole conceal thing either but I think I might today because some days it's really beautiful sometimes it's too much but with a look like this I think it'll be cute you know and then I like to do a light little So yeah, since today I'm not gonna be like leaving them wild, I can just like go in and do whatever and then go conceal, go in and fix it up. This eyebrow is so much thicker. Sorry if you can hear all that rain. You just get the doors open. Hopefully it's subtle and beautiful in the video. Last time I made a video, there were orbs and shit flying around. I was like, Really? When I want to make a video, really? But I don't mind the rain, you know. Fuck it. Natural. <laughs> we trying to do our thing, no matter what. Even though it looks sleepy as hell. I look so sleepy. I don't know what I was doing in my sleep last night. I honestly believe we go somewhere else when we're sleeping, because I'm pretty sure I do. I don't know about y'all, but I do not be feeling normal. <laughs> I am. No, I'm not, I'm not normal. Neither is a lot of people, though, so that's fine. Don't be scared. If you're not normal, give a fuck. And if you don't feel normal, express that because if you don't honey you are in for a little long lesson honey <laughs> baby <laughs> honey darling you're in for a lesson you're in for a treat so now i'm just gonna carve the brows out a little conceal in the back of my hand Not really a thin brush, nothing really specific, just going in, I don't really care. You can make it work. Make whatever you got work. And then when I do when I do, do these types of brows, I don't I still like a natural type of look. Like I love a messy I like to bring myself out in the look. Like a messy, like messy fun bitch. Who don't give a fuck. I bet you gives a fuck is not about to be wearing like precise ass eyebrows. I'm just gonna be truthful with y'all. I'm just messy with it. And it comes out very neat. Okay? See what I'm saying? You don't never gotta do too much. Or me. That's for me. Not for y'all. Okay, and then I like to pat over it somehow. It does something, but 
And then I like to maybe put a little bit of powder on my brows because I'm not with the fake brow movement. I used to, girl, honey. Maybe one day I'll show y'all. But honey. That was a low part of my life. <laughs> so I'm not going anywhere. I just felt like doing this. I'm gonna take some pictures. Okay. And then more blush. We're doing more blush. Period. That's me right there. I love to do more blush. Period. So. Find your spot and find your spot on your face. You're Gucci. You're Gucci. It's good, but the fact that I wanted to do a video and it decided to start pouring down was crazy. I said, I, and I don't mind it, but the fact that I wanted to do this video and it started pouring down. The lights turned off. <laughs> But it's still Gucci. <laughs> so. Whew, honey. Ha. Okay. A little chin needs color. You know, like, if you're brown, using, like, oranges and powders and shit around your mouth works. Learned that from Jackie Ina and just an art class. Because colored you know um i think i might make them pop a little more in my eyes yeah a little bit of a pop is needed so what color should i do glitter we're we gonna go in with a little glitter it's like a light pink it's pretty similar to this lid color but it's just light it's right next to it and it's called two Welcome back to my channel. It's the first line of his. Oh, whoa. I love Jeffree Star. And that's it. I don't care. This right here is my sweet boy sweat. Hey. You know what I mean? When is your pretty boy swag? You can't even. And then, I'm just going to keep going into a desired likeness. It's beautiful. I think I'm just going to use that on my inner corner too. Very much so. So I don't have to, because uh, I was going to do an eyeliner with like the, you know, the cat. Tear duct. I already have that kind of tear duct, but. I like to very much exaggerate and like, you know. And the glitter really amped my look up just how I wanted it to do. Cause I usually don't put glitter on my eyes. I don't know, it's beautiful, it is, but I just don't have a reason to most of the time. I mean, I do, but I guess I don't take the opportunity. Cause you can do whatever you want, the truth. And then what I like to do, I have to go back in. And I think I'm just going to go in with Calabasas, which is in the Jeffree Star palette. And just get everything sorted out. You know? Make sure everything's where you want it to be. I like mine to look like a bird a little bit because I feel like birds are so beautiful. And I feel like makeup is heavily inspired by animals colorful animals and birds and then on my bottom lash line I'm even gonna go in with a little dark brown just to give it that depth that I love before the mascara Ooh, wrong color okay, I'll mix them then Calabasas and hi dude <laughs> it just gives that cranberry undertone to the brown you know Now 
and then I'm gonna go in with a with the same brush I really don't mind just wrap it off a little bit on your hand and uh, use a um, I'm gonna use no we're gonna go back into Huda where's she at she right here though um <laughs> we're gonna go back into Huda and get like a darker glitter color um I'm thinking this one so we're gonna need that one it broke when I ordered it here so it's okay we're gonna go in right here see what I'm saying whoa that shit is thick too. wrong color then hold on that shit is crazy I'm gonna go with the darker one over it whoa I didn't know it was gonna be like that let me try a darker one on this eye yep that's what I was going for but it's okay Okay, I fixed it. I was like, because I really wasn't expecting that. Like, it did not look that bright in the pan. And honestly, I think I'm done. Nothing serious. Like, I just be doing it. Oh, I'm not done. Am I crazy? Am I? I guess so. Um, highlight. Sometimes I don't wear highlight because I give a fuck, but. I'm an oily bitch. Combination, but throughout the day, I get very oily. <laughs> um, I would use a good highlight highlight, but I think I want to just go with this palette because it's really calling my name. Dog Mom will go beautiful on my skin tone because it's pink. Yep. If you're a dark girl, not dark dark bitch, you know what I mean? Around my skin tone, use Dog Mom as a highlighter. Period. And I look to, and when I'm feeling real good, ooh, I forgot I had a fucking pimple. So what I'm gonna do, just my finger a little bit, go in with some powder. No, you're nothing serious. I'm gonna just make some shit work. And I like to make my cheeks look more round, you know. So when I do things, if you want to make it look like a certain way, go like go around, you know. If you want it to look more chiseled, go like, you know. But that's not me. You know, when you're in the sun, it usually beams like, not in like one specific place. So I like to make it look like how it would look if I had light on me. So the nose. I love a chin highlight. And honestly, I'm not a lipstick girl whatsoever. Like, I could do lip liners, yeah, but me personally, it's just not me. So what I'm gonna do is just go back into my palette. Show y'all what I be, I'm gonna try to do. I don't usually do this. I'm gonna go back into my palette. Use the color Boss Angeles. I fucks with that. Carl. Carve out some shit. And be creative. And I like showing. Because they're so bright. And prominent. So. Maybe even blur it out a little. Who doesn't love nudity? So that's the kind of look I'm doing. I'm gonna mix channel too. Just to blend that out better. And then honestly what I'm gonna do is just go and get some lip balm and I'm gonna show you guys my look in the mirror. 
Okay, guys. This is the finished look. It looks good in person. I love it.